welcome to programming languages for civil engineering students in this present video i will discuss uh, how to run uh, how to uh, analyze a building in or by using response spectrum analysis in uh, scilab programming language okay let us first open uh, scilab Okay, this is the code what I have written okay then you just you click on you, you run the program then it will ask the browse your building details okay, you browse your building details that, that is building dimensions you select and click op open then you go to the scilab console then it will ask uh, to enter the grade of concrete let us say 30 and unit weight of concrete that is 25 and beam width that is uh, 2.05 meter and depth of the beam 0.25 meter and um, width of the column 0.45 meter and depth of the column 0.5 meter then again it will ask to browse uh, uh, your earthquake ground motion let us say uh, Chamoli ground, earthquake ground motion data this you open and uh, and it will ask to enter damping coefficient ratio that is model damping coefficient zeta that is 0 0.05 that is 5 percent okay then after running this program we will get the desired result uh, we will get the desired results like graph uh, uh, the story the story number versus the, the displacements um, the displacements of the particular story in SRSS method and CQC method all these are mentioned in IS 1893 part 1 2016 and if you have any interest you go to you refer to any standard test books okay so okay, uh, um, but uh, these scilab and matlab pro, uh, code is not uh, much difference there's only some 30 percent difference because most predefined functions in matlab and scilab are same most maybe only some 30 percent maybe differ um, uh, maybe different but mostly 70 percent of predefined functions are same so and we got the results and that result that is the first and we got the results this is a displacement here you can see as it looks like a matlab uh, uh, graph and it is also srss lateral force and you can see these graphs okay maybe some there is some bug is there so that uh, you, ca you cannot clearly visible uh, these graphs okay anyway and uh, see this is the response spectrum displacement uh, spectral displacement time period versus spectral displacement of the particular earthquake okay anyway this is the earthquake ground motion data okay no problem okay in this way we can we can create or, or we can analyze the structural dynamics problems in this uh, scilab very uh, efficiently if you have any doubts please comment in the comment box and if you have any suggestions please suggest thank you for watching this video thank you